All right, guys, I'm back to another Dokkan Battle video. Man, uh, what a global W right now. Not a big one, but it is s still worth noting. So we have the Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour 2024 coming up soon. So what they did as a celebration is they have dropped this banner in the game to sort of, you know, get hyped for it. And I'm going to be honest, this is a very, very good, good banner. Um, Some of the best units in the game are still in here, and most of them are, are borderline still usable. So Sword of Hope Trunks is probably still arguably top 10. Once you do go into standby and basically go into uh, like the spirit sword, I guess, or I don't, I don't know what you would want to call it, the sort of hope or sort of whatever. Um, it, It's just, he's just insane. Him having 50% damage reduction and guard while being in the first slot, while also just having 50% damage reduction if you don't want him to be in the first slot, is just incredible. He turns into literally one of the best, if not just the best, slot one unit in the game. Just 50% damage reduction guard, similar to Super Saiyan 4 full power Goku. Uh, and then he's doing like all of this damage, and then when he does the active skill attack, uh, it's killing mostly everything, right? It's just getting there to that point. That could always be just a little bit of a hassle because you do need basically two turns with this guy around. Uh, and it, he could be a little bit fraudulent at times. Future Gohan, easily top two. My personal top one best unit in the game, uh, tied with Bulma, of course. And it, it was it was funny because we were just talking about him in the Bulma showcase of why you shouldn't get uh, Bulma with teal coins because I was saying that you should get this guy instead. And now he's he's kind of semi-returned, and I'll say sem the reason why it's semi in a couple of seconds. But yeah, he's he's easily like just the top two best units in the game. If you have the 150 stones, I would recommend 100% summoning on it. Then the uh, the banner takes like a, a very steep decline, I would say, in usability. This metal cooler, I hated him on release, and I still hate him now. He has only gotten worse over time. He is a unit that only has defense uh, as his defensive utility and then recovering HP. And he does have the revive, which can be very nice because it, it just activates whenever he dies. But I just personally do not like uh, running Metal Cooler in this day and age anymore. Bird Q can still get some use for sure. Uh, he has the guard, of course. He has it where he can revive. But when we pair him with units like Tech World Tournament Goku, who need the revived in order to permanently guard, do additional super attacks, you know, get that attack and defense boost, like, this guy is still usable. And I still use him quite a lot, even with him just being at one dupe or 69%. Uh, then, then it get, takes an even bigger decline, which is funny because we were just showcasing this unit yesterday, um, or I guess last night. Th this These guys aren't usable. These guys could easy A uh, somewhat soon because right now uh, on JP they're about to go to the anniversary and MUI Goku and Int Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta are 100% I would say getting an easy A or at least 99.9999% getting an easy A and that means that later down the line these guys are probably going to get one too. Uh, unfortunately we haven't seen it so far for some of these um the legendary summon characters or the legendary summons from the anniversaries but i wouldn't be surprised if, if uh we get it a, a little bit soon uh same with this guy like he he's okay but he's just he's just aged out at this point like I, i've used him with um the z duo and he was he was doing a little work but uh, there's just so much better options now that i wouldn't recommend using him scr ui goku uh I, <laughs> Do, I, I, do you just go just go watch a showcase on him the easy a showcase like literally anybody everybody's been posting it uh is it even like a, a far-fetched thing to say that he's like top four top five i don't even i don't even think it is he just i uh, his easy a obviously isn't on global yet but if you don't know what it is on jp um he gets a permanent uh attack and defense boost i believe once you dodge and then he also just starts stacking like this as well, where it's just like he has to dodge up to a certain amount of times and then you get the key and then the uh, attack and defense. But man, he's he's amazing. I I'm so excited to use that when uh, it does come to global. Uh, these guys suck. Uh, they always have. These guys also suck. They always have. So we have one, two, three, four. 
and three of them are like some of the best units in the game this is very very good and then if you also don't know um on the last step your free multi i believe it is a guaranteed featured unit so one of these units will be in your multi summon guaranteed let's go ahead and hop right into it uh like i told you if if you have the stones i say just summon because you have the chance to get future gohan you have the chance to get uh sort of folk trunks you have a chance to get all of these amazing units SRUI goku bird q like the, those four uh, it's just they're just so good and then being them being on one banner is even more insane uh i forgot to oh man i forgot to uh say the reason why i said it was only a semi return but uh, i'll just do it after this uh are we getting an lr no okay that's okay uh, we did get a feature unit. Hopefully, we can keep pulling feature units. The reason why I say that it's a semi return and not a man, if I can click, it's a semi return and not a full return, is you might notice that these units are not in the shop. Typically, with these banners, where um, it's only like a certain amount of summons that you can do, they don't count it as uh, the return of a unit. So, if you look at something like, uh, um, oh, we're getting a fusion. Okay, we're getting an LR here. That's good. If we look at something like uh, the Christmas banner, for example, we aren't able to pick up uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, for example. Uh, so that that's mainly the reason why. I don't understand why they didn't do it like that, though, where we could just pick them up. Feature gone. Oh, dude, unfeatured are. I hate it here. Uh, but uh, I feel like they should have just done it because on JP, we, we literally are getting the same unit uh, we, we literally got the same unit on uh, during World Wide Island Celebration for both versions. So I think it would have just been smarter to allow us to pick up the units with coins. Because JP is going to get it in literally less than a month. They're going to probably get it two or three weeks whenever... Uh, well, I, I guess it could, it could actually be in two or three days. Because I forgot that the Carnival banner was different this year. The Carnival format. It went back to the old World Wide Island Celebration format where um there's one dokkan fest and then one carnival unit so if they return future gohan on the gogeta banner for example excuse me future gohan on the gogeta banner for example um like i said they're, they're gonna get that in less than a week so but if they return it during part two uh which they definitely could then they're gonna be here in like two or three weeks so it's just like why why would you not <laughs> just put it in the coin shop because they know that I, I I would buy it. That's the reason why. <laughs> okay. Uh, so far, we've been getting pretty shafted, I would say. Um. Wow. We're we're just getting absolutely demolished <laughs> right now. <laughs> I was gassing up this banner, and it's treating me dirty. Okay. There we go. It's a guaranteed LR. So that means we're not pulling one of the two featured SSRs, which I would have been sad for if we did. Or the TURs, not the SSRs. This is scaring me so much. If it's if it's future Gohan or if it's future Trunks, I'll forgive you. No, not Metal Cooler. <laughs> oh, that stinks. I was I was saying so much mean stuff about him too and there he goes showing up in my summons but yeah i i like i said i do think that you should summon on this banner for sure like the, we have some of the most powerful options on here and it's only 150 stones you get your fourth summon for free you get a guaranteed featured unit uh similar to basically how the new year's step ups are i, I the main reason why i'm just telling you to summon is because it's it's something guaranteed you sh could get shafted like i just did and you could be like wow this this sucks, you know, but at the same time, you could also have a three out of 10 chance of pulling something amazing. And uh, unlike how some of the other banners are, or just like literally any other banner in the game, it's at least a guaranteed chance of pulling them. So I've, I've gone like 200, 250 stones, 500 stones, not pulling a single feature unit before. So, you know, just having that chance to, to be able to get something really, really powerful. Um, is amazing 
And not only that, but these these units are some of, like I said, the most recent uh, and powerful units in the game right now. SRUI is going to be really powerful. Bird Q is still decent. And then Future Girl Han and Future Trunks is uh, both equally top 10. And Future Girl Han is uh, top 2 units in the game. You know, top 3 units in the game. But yeah, uh, let me know what you guys got. Hopefully you did get something better than I did. Uh, but you know, you, know you, you win some, you lose some. But yeah, let me know what you guys got. Uh, hopefully you guys got better luck than I did. Uh, pulled something good. Um... If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, hope you guys have a great streak. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.